Good morning, everyone out there in NYX professional makeup land. Welcome to Pro Thursday Live with me, Erica G. Always in the place to be. Come on in, guys. You know the drill. Get comfortable. Get yourself ready. How's everybody doing? Come on in. I see you. Good morning to you. Thank you for the compliment because you, you know. This palette, this palette, this ultimate utopia palette. Oh, uh, this palette. We're going to talk about this today. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, then 900. Hi. Hi, Visha. Hi. Hello. Thank you, Luna. Welcome. Come on in, guys. Welcome to Pro Thursday Live. Pro Thursday Live is where we keep it real 100% about makeup, right? Makeup. Well, we're a makeup brand, so that kind of makes sense, right? This is the platform where I get a chance to elevate the fantastic pro artists in our industry. And we have the chance of having some fantastic pro artists that are representing NYX Professional Makeup and... We're going to talk to you a little bit about smokey eye, right? Okay, so before we get into our fabulous guest, Chris, let me go ahead and pin that because you guys know I get all over the place with that. So let me pin Chris because we are going to talk about smokey eyes today, okay? Hold on. Okay, pin. Woo! All right. So, all right, as you're getting settled, did you guys know that it's already September? This can't really be real. How is it already September? That means that we're already getting prepared for the fall. Oh, the fall, geez, this year has already just gone by too fast. So what happens in the fall from a makeup perspective? We know we see tons of more color, right? This is where we can, in the fall, we add more coats on because it's cold. Well, this is also where we're able to layer colors. Now, for those of you who are just our NYX fans, you know that this Ultimate Utopia palette has been something we've been promoting in our feed uh, just for the past couple of weeks. And I've been wearing it almost every live because this is one of my new favorites. You guys know how I am, right? So I started off with these big, bright, bold colors, but now you see I'm in the purple. Thank you guys. I love it. Thank you guys for all your compliments. So we're going to talk about with Chris our fantastic pro makeup artist, how to really capture a fall smoky eye look. Now, a lot of us may know how to do smoky eyes, but there are about four or five of you guys who still want some cool techniques. So we're going to give them to you today. Also, let's have a little fun. I need to see if your emoji game is tight this morning or this evening or this afternoon, wherever you are, okay? Number one, if you love fall inspired makeup, I need you to get your fall leaves, okay? So drop your fall leaves. If you love pumpkin spice lattes, I see a lot of people just like standing in line at Starbucks to get these. Drop your fall leaves, drop your fall emojis, your coffee emojis. If you like fall inspired cocktails, if you're over 21, <laughs> drop your cocktail emojis. Let me see if you like that, over 21 only. Um, but if you like fall makeup, let me see you draw. Oh, Danielle, thank you. I see it. Oh, uh, Miss Brown Sugar, I see it. Yes. Um, yes, yes. Your headache. What I love that name. Yes, yes. Okay. So you guys are ready for this. All right. All right. Uh Kali Mokahanis. I love that. That's dope. Love that. Yes. Okay, you guys are ready. You guys are ready. Okay. Um, number one. Number two, if this is your first time on this show. Throw up your number ones. But if you are a repeat viewer on this Pro Thursday, let me see your hands up, right? Let me see your hands up. First time, let me see that one finger. But if you're a repeat, let me see you uh, do some kind of multiple boom, boom, hands, something. Oh, Sammy, I see multiple cocktails. There you go, Sammy. I love it. Hi, Leah. Welcome. I love it, right? Steph is giving me fall flowers. Melissa, Gia, you guys represent. Kayla, Jackie, uh, Legally Pierre, I see the red, red, red wine. Okay, first time. Welcome, Cruz. Welcome. Welcome, Glamour Girl. Welcome. Luce, I've seen you before, Luce. What's up? Welcome. Oh, wonderful. I love it. 
You guys, Glossy Bay, what's up, boo? Welcome. G Channel, welcome. Love it. Gemini Queen, what's up? Okay. So we have some first timers. I love it. Aliyah, that means one. Perfect. I think I love it. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So we have some first timers. We have some repeat, repeat offenders. Welcome. All right. Let's get started. All right. Someone wants to know what I have on my lips. You guys know we don't play with these butter glosses. Come on, angel food cake. You know, I have to soften it for this big eye. Come on, angel food cake. Come on, perfect pink for the melanin. Come on, right? That mauvey pink. Yes. All right. Let's get into this because you guys are tired of me talking about emojis and lips and stuff. Chris, are you ready? Let's bring Chris in because you think this eye is jamming. Just wait until you see Chris. Perfect. All right. Come on, Chris. Now, you guys know my technology is always funny. It's always a little strange. But guess who's waiting for me? Hmm. Guess who's... Aaliyah, rest in peace. Birthday last week. All right. Come on, Chris. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Top hat realness. Look at you. And I have to say, we must have been feeling each other this morning because we always hear. <laughs> Chris. I kid you not. Let me tell you. I said, I'm going to do purple because Chris is not going to touch purples this time. Are you kidding me, Chris? Purple is my everything. <laughs> I am so excited. Yeah, I love it. Death on this, so I feel it. <laughs> well, this is where the vibe is just going to be continuing to be strong. Welcome, Chris. Yes, Can I introduce you? You're welcome. The chat is already live, so I'm like super excited to be here because y'all were just going off in the chat, so I'm so ready. <laughs> We've already talked about how we love the fall, how we love right. drinking, and how, you know, we're representing, right? I love this. Okay, so for those of you who are new, welcome. Chris is ours. When I say ours, he is our NYX professional makeup pro artist. He has, oh, you got to represent for the turf. Represent, right? <laughs> so he gets a chance to beautifully bring our makeup to life in the form of just being a fantastic artist. Chris, can you just yeah. tell the party people a little bit about yourself? Because they want to know who you are. Oh, yeah. So a little bit about me. I am currently based out of Las Vegas. I am originally from the East Coast, Philadelphia to be exact. Um, I have been in the arts my entire life. So I went to art school when I was in grade school. I went to college for fashion design, and that is kind of how I got into makeup. And literally from that point on, I expressed my interest in makeup to my family. My mom, who's in the chat right now, she actually gave me tons of all of her old makeup when I first started, and I literally used that to just get started. And then... Here I am now, 11 years later, working for NYX. I'm loving my life, loving my job, and I'm super happy to be here. <laughs> oh my God, mom, shout out to mom. Let me tell you, mom, we love your son. And that's how a lot of us either learned or maybe didn't learn. Because sometimes we have moms like yours and mine that were jamming, that let us have their makeup and play. Then other yep. people just have moms that weren't quite as savvy, so they had to learn the other way, which is absolutely fine. Shout out to moms, and thank yep. you uh, for representing. 11 years is a long time, Chris. Yes. I love it. I love it. But it's well, hard. It never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, your skill is amazing. And let's talk a little bit about, because I will tell you, looking at this, the blend, it looks a little intimidating, but I know you're going to make it real simple and oh, dope for our party people. Break this down for you guys. Super easy. It looks like it will be complicated, but I'm, I promise you guys, anybody can achieve this look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's go. Let's do this, baby. So the first thing I'm going to get started with is, of course, I'm going to hop right into these bad boys because I've, we've all been obsessed with these. So these are the new Epic Wear liner sticks. They come in so many shades. Like, I think there's like 24 of them. Like, there's a lot of shades of these. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. So, the one I'm going to use today is actually called Deepest Blue. So, it's our dark brown color first. And I actually prefer a smoky eye with a liner first because I like to build my intensity first. Yeah. So, I'm going to use this guy and I'm going to start doing this and using this messily, you'll see, all over the eyelid. And I'm going to take this up into about right where my eye actually starts to fold. Okay. So where the eyelid skin actually starts to fold, this is a great spot to stop this liner. Now, one first thing that, of all, yeah, 
It's the creaminess for me. I was just about to say, the great thing about these liners is that they're super creamy. So if you work with them, like how I'm laying it down now, you have time to literally take a brush and start to press and stretch out those liners. So sometimes you could even do a full eye look with just eyeliners and mascara, and you can hit the streaks and you're ready to go. No, I love that. So look, this is just that. liner. So already it, you see the intensity there. So if somebody wanted to stop right there, Chris, throw on some mascara and roll out. You totally could. I would just darken up maybe like a liner on top, but yeah, yeah. totally. Easy, easy. And it's usually challenging with cream products because when you do something that, ha when you have a product that's creamy, it likes to move. These yes. are waterproof, y'all. Oh, and also, if you're wondering, the brush I'm using is number 13. I like this brush because not only is it flat on one side, but it's also kind of fluffy. So you can apply shadow, you can blend shadow, and you can also blend liners with it without it being too hard or strenuous on your eye. So literally, yes. this is all eyeliner so far. This is not, I'm telling you, um, the, um, this is, uh, for those of you who don't know, our brushes are quality and affordable. And what Chris is doing, you see how he's using it on the lid and underneath, also multifunctional. Yes. I use this to put this little lavender love on the center of my eye yeah. uh, from the palette. And a little bit more specific, like if you look at the brush, like the side of it is what I'm using to stretch and blend the top portion. And then to blend underneath my eye, I actually flip it and use the tip of the brush to stretch and blend underneath. So it doesn't get too much color pulling down here. Dope. Dope. But yeah, Easy. so that's our base. It's just that deepest brown. I think we're liner stick. Yep. And you already know we're dipping into this today. <laughs> so please, let me introduce this because this is an actual brand new palette for us. As you know, Nick's our palette game is super strong. We have a new 40 pan palette that has three color stories, warm mm -hmm. neutrals so that you can live your best life, mm -hmm. soft pastels like I'm wearing on the center eye, pastels, plums, and teals, as well as highly metallic cream on the inside, cream on the outside. Please don't, please don't play with us, right? I highly metallic. I don't like this before. And like, I just can't. It's <laughs> and shadow cream, but I'm in this every day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Every day. Yes. I have to remind myself that there are other shadow palettes to wear. Yes. Now. So I'm using the same brush and I'm going to dip into this dark brown shade right here. Mm. And I'm using this brush on its sides to pick up the most pigment. Nice. And then I'm literally just going to lay this right on top of everywhere where we place that liner. Nice. And you'll see this will intensify the liner, make it really bold. I like a good smoky eye that's deepest and darkest, closest to the eye, and then kind of diffuse it on its way out. Yeah. Now, so Chris, why did you start with the brown versus some of the pinks and plums? I know a lot of people always want to know, okay, what's the right way to do shadow placement? There's right. not a right way, but tell me why you chose the darker before the lighter. Um, I personally like to go darker first with my smoky eye because I know I want that's the effect most. Yeah. So if yeah. I focused on my darkest point first, everything else is going to be soft. So laying down that liner underneath is going to intensify the shadow even more. And then I can go in and you'll see this is brush number, I believe it's 32. Yeah, 32. This has nothing on it, by the way. I'm just going to go around those edges where I placed that darker shade. And you'll see, this will start to instantly diffuse and stretch out those colors for you. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. These shader brushes, um, you notice it's a little bit shorter, so it's going to get that really good fusion. Chris, you know we're twins because we, we use the same exact brushes to do our makeup, too. Ah! Like, what <laughs> kind of setup is this? We didn't plan yes, this, you guys. We normally today. do. <laughs> yes all right so we good we got that darker shade on come on boo we are so good that's beautiful that's purple so i'm gonna use that same blending brush and right above that brown is this nice purple shade and these are all matte colors that i'm using right now i love it yes that one's nice and speaking of mattes i like to use mattes with smoky eyes at first just because you can really get in those shades and depth that you want and then you can go back in later if you want to add in some sparkle some glitter and things like that but definitely start working in with your mattes first 
So I took that purple shade and I literally just blended it all around the edge of where I put that darker shade. And you'll see it still looks a little bit choppy, but don't worry because we're going to blend that out, of course. You just want to make sure you're able to get that color on there. That's beautiful. Perfect. And then the last, well, not the last, because I, I, you know I got to dig into like four or five of these. I can't just use I was them. like, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> use just one or two of these shades. I'm going to use that same brush, and I'm going into these neutral colors up here. I like these guys because these actually work as kind of like my eraser or buffer tones. So if you take a neutral shade, you can go right around all of your edges of your colors, and you'll see that with a fluffy brush, it'll immediately start to diffuse and soften those edges. And literally, like, it looks like I did a lot of work to this eye, but I really didn't. There's still I mean... a it's beautiful. And that's almost, those soft, diffused colors are almost like a built-in filter, right? Because yeah. it helps to diffuse those edges. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, the last shade, now this is the last shade that I use. Because for me, I don't like an all matte look. I like to add some texture, a little bit of sparkle, something that's going to make something stand out, you know what I mean? So there's this color in here that I saw this morning that I've never used, and I was like, I'm using it today. That's it's right. all at the bottom. It's like this deep brown like golden like i don't even know how to describe it it's so pretty <laughs> my goodness it's look at that <gasps> yes so oh, i'm like so... grab this why am i trying to like i can't see it it's like a right. pewter right it's so pretty <laughs> look at that i'm gonna grab this with that same brush that we use for the first colors and i'm just gonna lay this right on top of that deepest dark and you see it just adds a little bit of texture to my eye that is so It just so like spices beautiful. it. Beautiful. Oh, Skylar says that she also finishes with a shimmer too. I love that. So Chris, you're making people happy here. People are just yeah. let you know. I'm I'm reading the comments. I know you're doing this, but Skylar loves it because she uses uh shimmer finishes with a shimmer. Uh Slayed by Dre cannot wait to try this look. Yes. Um, people are loving the colors, learning great things. Thanks, Chris. That's what a lot of people are. Just want to give you a little love as you're going. And then, guys, I just finished off my eye, like the rim, with the same deepest brown epic wear. So I'm just going right inside my waterline. And that's going to deepen that up for you. You can take it up top if you want. Yeah. Love it. Beautiful. How many colors is that? That's the liner. This was, oh, oh, yeah. You thought I was done? Oh, oh, no, I'm just I'm trying to <laughs> count because also just to let everybody know who's just coming on, we are on with our pro makeup artist, Chris, who is doing a smoky eye. So let's just yeah. catch people up where who are just coming on with the colors that you've used. So we so. used the deepest brown, this dark brown color closest to the eyelid. Yep, we started with our pencil. All over our, the eye. Mm -hmm. And this brown all around. Yes. We set that with this nice matte brown shade. Yep. Then we took a fluffy brush and diffused and started to stretch and blend with this nice purple. Yeah, stretch and blend. And then to soften our edges, we took in this neutral shade right up here. Yeah. And then the texture right on that lid, we popped on this nice deep brown golden color. Beautiful. Just catching all the party people up. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So we caught up. I like to add in a little bit of pop to the inner corner just because sometimes it could look a little dull there without it. I'm going to use another Epic Wear liner stick. This one is in gold plated. <laughs> these ones are like these liners are literally, <laughs> I keep talking, <laughs> but they're literally, you can do just literally this and that's it. And it's a liner. <laughs> like, <laughs> Done. These liners are everything, guys. And just to give a little love to these liners, there are 24 colors. Look at that. They're waterproof. Mm -hmm. They are transfer-proof, waterproof, cry-proof. Yes. And they um, last 36 hours. So Orange. they are long-wearing, long and they are creamy. And we have them now available. You can get them online um, at any of your other favorite retailers that NYX is sold. Yes. So I'm finishing off my eyes with a little bit of mascara. I'm using the On The Rise, my favorite. This one does everything. It lengthens, gives you a nice curl. Ah, love this guy. And this is a smoky eye, guys. 
the volume in this. Today I chose to not wear lashes because I knew I was doing a bold eye. And look at the volume that Chris is getting just from adding a little, you better give it to us, a little mascara just to give us a little hit. Yes. Yes, it's beautiful, beautiful. I love it. And you know, we always keep blending, right? Just blend until you can't blend anymore. Blend and blend, but we're good. Blend. Like it. What do you guys think? That was easy. Now, was that achievable, guys? Right? <laughs> Ultimate Utopia palette. Yes. Beautiful. Chris, anything else to complete this look? I mean, I know eyes are the focus, but what else? Anything else to complete this look? Yeah, so it's her focus. If you have a full face done already like me, of course, you will want to set. So I like to set with our matte finishing spray. Oh, you got the big <laughs> one. I was going to say, I'm using the jumbo size today. <laughs> He's a little baby. Yes, this. Uh, you don't have to worry about your shadow. I'm pull out my fan. Mm. Just so that you guys can. Oh, look at the. Please look at this fan. That is so off the hook. I love it. Number one setting spray in the U.S. across all cosmetic mm -hmm. lines. Number one. Number one. So and we rain. Transferring, guys. Yes, we. What'd you say, Chris? I'm sorry, it broke up. From transferring. Yes, transfer proof. We represent with the number one um, spray in cosmetics. Yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Somebody says, I want that fan. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Shout love out to it. Mark. Aaron. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Shout out, Mark. Shout out. So, Chris, yes. you've given us a beautiful fall inspired makeup look. You've taught us how we can um continue to keep our makeup transfer proof is there anything that else that you want to say before we wrap up this fantastic live boo that was quick i know um anything um just play be yourself do you yeah. like that's all i gotta yeah. say do you in this yeah. world because that's all you got <laughs> yeah 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 we love it just to recap this ultimate utopia palette is everything you guys we were able chris and i didn't even realize i chris i said chris is not gonna use purples today i was like he's not going to <laughs> and look and we, we are go. twins as usual right i love it i love it this is fantastic um someone says chris is magic that's wonderful um and someone wants to know is there a non-matte transfer proof setting spray we have a couple of different sprays we have dewy and we mm -hmm. have our radiant and they all set on the skin yep. matte just happens to be the favorite because as we are looking at the types oh you better have it lined up already chris mm -hmm. as we're looking at um just uh resistancy with masks we just find that the matte setting spray just has been everyone's favorite yeah. and somebody wants to know about lips lips because I have lip, I have lips on I have angel food cake which Ooh. is right here I'm gonna tell you quickly too one of my favorite fall lips is taking coffee liner which is our slim lip pencil so this is coffee and then I like this one because it's neutral for just about anyone so I will literally put this all over my lips and because we're going into the fall season where we still want to be hydrated, I literally use our Bear With Me lip conditioner. And I pop this right on top. It's a super perfect fall lip done. That is, it looks like your natural lip, Chris. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yay, you guys. Thank you for tuning in, Chris. Thank you so much for your fantastic, fantastic pro tips. You guys know what to do, right? What'd you say, honey? I said, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Sometimes I can't hear with the relay because, you know, I'm deaf yeah. in one ear, can't hear out the other, right? Well, you are so welcome. Thank you. And um, thank you, Candyland, her first live, and she loved it. Come back and see us every yeah. Thursday, Pro Thursday Lives. We love you guys. Always say, if you have a pro makeup artist that you want to see represented on the platform, go ahead and slide into our DMs at Nick's Cosmetics on Instagram. You can slide into mine. I'm Ooweeg, and let me know so that we can feature your favorite artist. At the end of the day, please stay safe. Please stay sane. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.